prosody. And uh, in terms of prosody, your reading expression, sometimes you see, you see uh, the word prosody or uh, prosodic features of speech. Um, so prosody is, is referencing the student's you know, uh, tone and intonation. It takes into account if they pause. It takes into account you know, their intonation, their pitch, their tempo, their volume, how they stress a word. So it takes into account all these aspects. So in term, and, and when we read with prosody, we're reading with a great deal of expression. So we alter, our, we, we pause, dramatic pause, and we change our pitch up, up and down, and volume, ha, uh, low and high, right? We change these things as we talk, like if we're ever telling a scary story. So as a student reads, we want to see if they're able to fit in these elements to, uh, as they read, like a narrative text or something. We don't want it to be monotone, so we, we don't want it to just be one flat rate and one no intonation or inflection. So again, we want to work to find a balance with the student and help them um, read with the proper expression or prosody as they do a text. Teachers do a great job of modeling reading prosody every time you, you read aloud to a, a student. You're modeling not just how to read with the proper speed and accuracy, but when you read a story or you read, an, you read something out loud and you take into account punctuation, you're modeling prosody too, which is a really important aspect of fluency. A lot of times students can have speed and accuracy down. It's this, it's this last one, and they have automaticity down. It's this last one that kind of uh, takes the most amount of time. And, and this is the one you, know, you want to build to really help a student with uh, uh, fluency. Because we want them, again, to read with speed, accuracy, and expression. So that's this one here, okay? All right, so whenever you think of prosody and, and elements of prosodic reading and, and, and anything involving that, right, we're looking at things in which the student is taking into account features of speech, pausing, the pitch, the stress, the volume, the tempo, all right? Okay, team, awesome. Remember prosody. And now uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going and let's do some problems. Thank you.